In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I flipped an RV for big profits. And you can too, so stick around. Welcome back, welcome back to all my returning subscribers. And for those of you, is this your first time here? If you wanna get started reselling, then subscribe to this channel right now. That is all I teach. I made my first sale on eBay back in 2003, and since then I have turned it into a full-time income. I've been flipping on eBay and other websites across the internet for over 20 years now. That's right, guys. So you are dealing with a veteran in the game, and if you're really serious about reselling and you've already subscribed, then shoot on over to The King of Thrift and download your copy of How to Get Started Reselling with Absolutely No Experience, guys. That's right. I poured what it took me 20 years to learn all my tips, tricks, and all the money that I lost you guys don't have to. So shoot on over there and pick that up and get started right now. Now that that's out of the way, guys, let's get right into the topic today. How did I flip an RV for big profits? So here's the cash, ready to go pick this bad boy up. And here are some pictures when I picked it up. There's the futon, the refrigerator, the bunk beds, and the front bedroom. There's the bathroom. It's in pretty good condition, as you can see. There it is back there, guys. Thing is huge, and we're gonna turn it around here. Let's stop and get some air in the tires. Damn, you can't. I'm gonna get some, uh, the machine won't take my quarters. Take Took all my other quarters. Oh, there's too much dexterity. Got air in the tires. They were actually really low. They had like. Uh, 20 pounds each. I put 45 in them. It calls for 65, but uh, they look much better than they did before. 45 will definitely get us down the road. We don't have far to go, so. All right, got air in the tires. It is doing much better. Pulling it last night, and that thing was hopping. It feels much better now. Uh, mind you, I'm not on the freeway yet, but I am on my way. So I better put this down. I'm just creeping through town, so no biggie at this point. But uh, everything does seem copesthetic, so we will find out here shortly. Okay guys, we got it in. She is set up, parked, and uh, sustained injury here. Disconnecting this sway bars to connect here. This thing was under tons of tension because it connects up to here with the, these bars and I didn't know what I was doing, so I jacked up my hand. So I am icing it, get some ice on it. There's one thing my wife taught me, she's an ex-nurse is when you mess yourself up, especially bruises and bangs, you put some ice on it quick and you won't be sorry. And if you don't, you will be sorry. Uh, 15 minutes like this and this thing would be 100 times better than if I didn't ice it. So. caught this grass snake eating a toad during my lunch break. He was having lunch too. That's what I am looking at. Um, this area here, as you can see over there, is rotten. That whole area, pretty well done for. Uh, I've had the windows open, letting this thing dry out. About to pull up this linoleum and see what's underneath it. Let's see what kind of damage. I feel a little soft spot right over here. The rest of the floor feels pretty solid. And there's actually some pipes somewhere down here that he said are leaking, and that's what caused that. Here it is from the other side. <clears throat> you can see it's pretty, pretty nasty in there. And see what's going on under there. Well, good thing all this was included in there. You know, sorts of fittings, wires, cables, extra plugs. This thing, this big wand, is a damn. Is a cleaner. Damn, I'm getting buzzed over here. Ready for one. You got some extra water hose, some nylon hose, toilet drain, extra plug for the adapters and all that stuff. And then there's winterized. Even it's winterized. I have to pull this and peel this back and uh, replace all the wood from here down. Right around here is where the damage is. I actually found it on the inside of this wall. Uh, it's all soft right here's the problem this is where the water comes in and i promise you on the back side of this has been leaking 
It leaks straight down here and then runs this direction and has rotted everything out in here up that direction. So at least we know what's wrong and what we're looking at means this is all gonna have to be peeled back. This door is gonna have to be taken off. There's a bunch of them, see them? Yeah. Right over there, I pretty much found the culprit. I believe it's right there. That thing is leaking in down there and it's that way and that way and it's leaked all out and ain't no telling what's bad under here. It's a pretty big job. It means all this stuff has to go up and taken out and reinstalled. Fun stuff. It means all this has to come out. Make it, taking it off. Water tank. Some little corrosion there. Get underneath there because that's where the water's. So who knows maybe if this thing's leaking. So here is the futon that came out and whenever I removed it behind the futon as you can see all this mold on the floor. It's not that bad actually. Over there is the bad spot. So we got all that cut out. You can see there you're making all sorts of progress. We have screws and guess what over here we have screws and we have over here some more screws and down there I have some screws and screws <laughs> screws everywhere probably just buy some new screws but here's what's going on down here we gotta rip all this out on that bolt we're solid so there it is there she bees tore out some more tore up some more than all the as you can see this is wet all this here is wet probably leaking around the toilet there so that means all this floor is basically might have to come out once it dries. It's a little soft. Once it dries, we'll see how solid it is. Back there, the good news is back in the corner there, it seems pretty solid. That would be wrong. Yeah, you know, right down there. Hoping it's solid. This wall's coming out. All this is coming out. Some of this may be coming out. We'll find out. So here's the damage report. So far. The bathroom looks okay. It did get wet. I think we're gonna be all right today. I'll be hooking up the water and finding, locating the leaks. Plugging this in here, turning these two off and probably turning one on or one off, vice versa, till we find the leaks. Definitely know there's one over there. <laughs> Damn door shut on me. It's fixing to cut this out. The thing is, there's a bolt holding in this piece of wood right here in the corner. It goes all the way through, comes out right there. Here it is from the top. It's rusted, so I didn't notice it. I'm gonna pull that out so that this we can get this wood up and get to the frame, which is located just below here. Right under there. There's Chiquita, she's scared. She's a scaredy. Scaredy kid. She's scared of everything. She's watching for flies. She's on fly patrol. What are you doing, Chiquita? It's a fly. What's that? I saw it. He's a man on your butt. Watch it. We located most of the rot, as you can see, it's all around there. We're gonna pull the fridge out, get that ready to come out. It's connected in the back. All from the outside, there's a gas hose, surprisingly. Connected to the refrigerator. Down there's the thermos, I guess you could call it, the heater. Furnace, I mean, not thermos. That's dripping. Got most of that cleared. I guess they'll cut out that last wall to reveal the last of the rot. God willing. So here is some of the things that were taken out. The refrigerator, that's where it was. Uh, the furnace, which is located right underneath the fridge. There's a big hole in the wall now, as you can see. Pretty rotted out underneath the fridge. That's where the gas line actually came in. There's looking from the outside in. There's the furnace. Parts of the furnace all connected to the wall. Getting it disconnected a little at a time and taken out of there. So here 
of some pictures from the outside. You can see some pretty extensive damage. The entire corner is gone, has been completely torn out. There it is from the inside. Basically that whole wall is gone. Cut the flooring out. There is where the refrigerator was. And here is our first progress. As you can see, you got a couple of pieces of plywood down there. So the floor is now going down. Got a little bird trapped up in here. Oh, he's looking right at me. He got, he flew in here. He can't get out. He keeps flying into the windows, but he'll fly out. Open the window up over here so he can fly right out. Here is some of the first wood going in, some of the new wood. As you can see there, we are making some decent progress. We have some structure going on on the walls. I basically tore out all the rotten pieces of wood, all the bad pieces, and you can see we have replaced them with some good wood. And things are uh, coming along nicely, as you can see there. It is nighttime. I've got it closed up. I think some rain came that night. And here we are, some more progress. Had a little insulation in, got that window framed oh, out. And we have the um, paneling that's going to go over the window, all cut out and ready to go. And here is yet some more progress. As you can see, that whole wall is mostly framed out. Building over the top of that um, wheel well there is going to be difficult. As you can see, they've got the paneling in, got the window all back in, got the floor in, got the wall basically built up and ready to go, ready to be covered and insulated. So here it is from the outside. I got that uh, corner rebuilt and put back together pretty solid. The whole wall has been reframed and rebuilt. You can see inside there all new wood all the way around, all the way across, down the entire side, running all the way through to the wheel well. Once we hit the wheel well, things got a little hairy. From there, we actually had to rebuild the entire structure across the wheel well, and the problem was supporting that wall on top of the wheel well, as you can see there. Uh, it was no small feat to say the least, but I did get it done and I think I got it done pretty well. Here it is with the plywood on the outside. I actually treated it with some weatherproofing and put it on there with a lot of screws as you can see to make sure that it does not leak. I removed the access doors. Reason being, I was going to replace the factory refrigerator with an aftermarket. Here are some shots of the wheel well pretty much finished out. And here's from the inside over the wheel well, building over the top for support. And in the back here, you can see just about done, insulated. We have all the structure built, windows installed, ready to go for the paneling. Here it is with the new paneling and paint installed, just about finished. Here is the new flooring going down. Got tiles, got tiles. It's hot. Look at the stress on my face. <laughs> Hot, it's oppressive. Down here. Here I am on day, man, it's probably been almost two weeks. I've got this thing basically broken down. I'm putting in the flooring. You can see behind me there. The floor is going down, which is the last thing to happen here. Got the paint in here. This has been completely redone. That entire room, top to bottom, basically. Bathroom's fine. Plumbing is all good basically cleaned out and uh, just about ready for the flip. So I figure maybe today I'm hoping to get this floor finished. As you can see, got this flooring, got a really good deal on this flooring. I uh, picked up plenty of it. Overall, I did not spend a lot. I'll be breaking that down at the end of this video. I'm dying out here, it's 100 degrees down here in Texas, 100 degree heat, quarantined. But uh, it's all right, hey, this gave me a nice project to work on. I've been out here for, well, two weeks of it anyways, it felt like forever, but uh, that is the progress as of the moment. Here is a sketch that I made. I was actually going to build a nice little dining area right there in the living room. Here it is all done, washed up and ready to be sold. Here are the pictures that I posted online to sell it. The inside all completely done, flooring completely installed. As you can see, I left the fridge on the floor, they will have to reinstall it. Everything is in pretty pristine condition at this point and ready to go, as you can see. So after completing the video, guys, I realized that I did not do a breakdown as far as how much money was made, profit, and spent. So I picked up the RV for $1,700 and I sold it for 
$3,700. I spent $400 on materials, uh, screws, paint, incidentals. So after it was all said and done, I spent $2,100 and ended up selling it for $3,700 netting me a profit of approximately $1,600. It took me about two weeks, guys, to get this thing from the condition that it was in to the final state, but it was not two weeks worth of work, eight hours a day, every day. It was a little here, a little there, whenever I had time. I'd rather work hard for less money for myself than to work hard for more money for someone else. That's just me, guys. I like the freedom, and more than likely, that's why you're here and you like the freedom also. So it was a pretty good deal. Thanks for tuning in for another video today, guys. I hope it helped you out, and if it did, make sure you help me out and give it a great big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, and you're really serious about reselling, then you need to subscribe to this channel right now. Shoot on over to thekingofthrift.com if you're ready to take your reselling to the next level and download your copy of How to Get Started Reselling with absolutely no experience, how to crush it, guys. And this has been Phil, also known as the King of Thrift. Thanks for tuning in for another video. And until we meet again, you guys be good. Now get on out there and make that money on eBay.